We have a sweet, friendly Corgi, never shown any aggression before. So Melissa Vino was completely shocked when their family dog Luna bit her 10 year old daughter, the injury requiring several stitches. Melissa has seen these kind of situations before because she's a pediatrician. Some really severe bites or attacks. But she says she always assumed that those dogs were just being aggressive. Or that the family wasn't taking good care of them or the kids were being especially naughty. And that's not at all what happened. She's not alone. During the month of December, Albany Medical Center's Pediatric Emergency Department treated 20 children for dog bite injuries. What's just as disturbing, most of the dogs were family pets. 94% of the cases involve dogs living in the home. It's the worst we've actually seen at Albany Med. It's now our second leading cause of injury um, to date at Albany Med. Dogs will try to give us different signs that they're not comfortable, um, but we don't always know how to read them. Terry Rudolph is a dog trainer who works with families. She teaches parents and kids to recognize the signs that a dog is stressed before they bite. Low tail wags, freezing, body freezes. The dog will stay really still or they may turn their head away but just kind of look up with their white, the whites of their eyes. Melissa says their dog Luna also gave her children signals too, like that she probably didn't want to wear a sweater. And um, they were convinced that they needed to keep her warm and they were trying to help her. They've um, now signed up for sessions with the trainer. Because we, we love our dog. The circumstances weren't good and we need to fix that. Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC.